Hello everyone, my name is David Del Valle and this is the app that I created. It is for the final project of IDC 1000 and it covers the koans 1 through 7 from chapter 1 of Blown to Bits. What you're seeing here is the first screen of four. In this app that I created, there are four different screens, each having different functions. This is the block section of it. This is the code that runs the first uh, title screen. What this does is it switches it. When you click the continue button down here, it'll switch this to the second screen. So let me bring that up. This is the second screen. It is just uh, the select screen where it shows all of the koans one through seven, um, top to bottom, one through seven. On the bottom though, there are two extra buttons, one that says previous and another that says quiz. Clicking the previous button will bring you to the, the first screen, the title screen. And clicking the quiz button will bring you to a quiz that is going to be shown on screen four. Clicking any of the koans will bring you to screen three, which consists of an image two labels and three buttons on the bottom. The title koan at the top just tells you which specific koan you're reading about. The text will hold all of the information that I that I discuss about the koan and then this image changes with each koan that I go through. The previous button on the left here uh, it goes to the previous koan because you can go through each koan so you can go previous to go back and then next to go forward. Clicking the select button will bring you back to screen 2 which is just the select screen. And then finally screen 4 is the the quiz screen. There's going to be an image here that I haven't loaded in yet, but it loads in when you begin the app. The text for label one here, it provides the question for you to answer. This is the text box. You put in your answers here and your answer button uh, goes ahead and compares your answer to the actual correct answer. You have previous and next buttons. They also go back and forth through the questions. Let me go back to screen two so that I can show you the code. Here's for screen two. All these are just the different buttons that give that bring you to the specific koans on the left. This here is the previous button that brings you to screen one, the title screen and select quiz here brings you to screen four which uh, begins the quiz with all the questions all right for screen three with all the koan informations um, i start an index variable here just so that everything else is aligned and no no information or pictures or titles are mismatched with each other Okay, let's see here. For We have a next button that I use. And so what I do is, if the when you get to the last koan and you try to click next, it'll bring you back to screen two, which is the select screen. And it'll also do the same thing for previous. So if you're on koan one and you click previous, it'll bring you back to the select screen. I have an initializer here and the select button that'll automatically bring you back to screen two. And then here I have all of the information stored in the list variables. So I have the information here, the pictures and the titles. Let's see. Screen four. This is the, the quiz screen blocks. I have another index specifically for the questions. We have information, more more lists that are stored in informations. Uh, sorry, I meant the other way around. More information that is stored in lists. 
so we have the questions themselves the correct answers here and then the pictures that go with the questions this is the initializer for the quiz screen another next button that works about the same way as the as the one on screen three another previous button and an answer button which compares the answer that is provided to the correct answer that is here all right so let me go ahead and bring across uh, this this is a projection of my phone right now uh, let me go ahead and connect it just gonna have to scan it here really quick or I'll just enter in the code okay click here all right here is the title screen. It'll be the first thing that pops up. So this is screen one. Here on the top you have the title. This entire thing is an image. And then down here, my phone screen is kind of large, so I don't it kind of intersects with the home button. But there's the continue button and clicking that will bring you to screen two, which is the select screen. Again, same title with all the koans listed one through seven with previous and quiz. I just want to show you that the previous button works. So we go there and back to the back to the title screen. Click continue again. All right. Uh, let's begin. Let's click on Koan 2 just to show that it jumps right to Koan 2 instead of going through 1. Now for a second it does load the it doesn't load Koan 1 it loads like a uh, the base screen without any information but it jumps right to Koan 2 so it has all the information the title on the top and a picture on the bottom with the three buttons that let you navigate the screen so we can go previous and it goes right to Cohen 1, press next, Cohen 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now I'm going to press next again, and it should bring me back to screen 2, which is the select screen. All right, perfect. I'm going to click Cohen 4, and then I'm going to press the select screen, so it should bring me right back to the screen 2. All right, I'm going to go back to Koan 2 just to try it on the previous button, Koan 1, and then back to the select screen. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the quiz. All right, so in the middle of the screen, you're going to have your image there, and then near the bottom, there's going to be your question. So the first question I put is, compared to computers, are humans perfect at completing tasks? Uh, tasks? And so I have yes or no as possible answers. And so what you would, the correct answer in this case is no. So you put in no and you click answer. It'll give you a message saying that you're correct. Let's go into the next question. What is happening to processing power today compared to 30 years ago? Um, for this case, let's try to put the wrong answer. So we would put in this case decreasing. And then when we do that, it'll give us uh, the incorrect prompt showing that we didn't put in the right answer. So let's put back in increasing and then it's correct. All right, 
The third question, it is very simple to remove something off the internet, true or false? Um, the answer in this case is false, but I also want to show you that you can use, you don't have to match the, the capitalization all the way. So let me just put all lowercase. It'll still say correct. And then let me just try true. It'll say false and then correct again. I mean, uh, false again. Let me try that. And it'll say correct, even if it's all lowercase. All right. For the last question, the influence of the internet has spread to across the globe. The answer here is true. But I'm also going to try to put in some uh, capitalization that might not make sense to a normal person. So let's put a lowercase t, uppercase r, lowercase u, and then uppercase e. And when we do click answer, it'll still show correct. So this being the last question, when we do click next, it should bring us right back to the select screen. So let's try that. And then there we go. So now we're back to the select screen. Let's try it again with the previous buttons. So we are on question one of the quiz. So let's click uh, previous. And yeah, there we are, right back to the select screen. All right. So yeah, this is my app. It has all the information about all the koans from chapter one, from blown to bits. And so thank you for watching.